Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well and welcome back again with our Sunny. How is Sunny? Yeah. Good. You've seen Sunny probably, you've probably seen his last lesson. He came uh, from Salisbury, Salisbury um, all the way from Salisbury to do mock test. We did one lesson just to see if he's okay and I'm sure you've seen it already. It's on the channel. Um, we just did it just to see if he's okay with the car and everything. He was okay. So I thought we're going to do a mock test. So today is going to be mock test. Okay. So Sunny, mock test today. Yeah. And you do know it's going to be recorded. Yeah. And it's yeah. going to go on the channel. Yeah. You're okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Course. Everyone's going to watch you. Yeah. Okay. Um. So the mock test is going to last around 40 minutes. Okay. 30 to 40 minutes. And in that time, I'm going to ask you to do maybe one parking. Okay. And we might do emergency stop. We might not. But if I do, I will ask you to stop first and then do it. Okay. Don't wonder the whole test that is going to come. It might come, might not. Okay. If I don't give you direction, you follow the road the way the road is going, unless I tell you which way to go. Yeah. And if I do, I will tell you in advance. If you want me to repeat the direction, you just ask and I will okay. give you the direction. Obviously, I can't help you, but I will give you the direction if you need to. All right. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Sure. So when you're ready, Sunny. Okay. One question. How do you know your power steering is working? How do you know if uh, your power steering is working? Yeah. When I start the car and I will uh, uh, turn right, it should be go right. Or if I turn left, it should be go left. So basically, when you start your car, it should be light. Yeah. It's heavy now, isn't it? Yeah. When the engine is off. When you start your car, when you start your car, it should be light. light yeah. If it's not light, it's not working. Yes. So when you're ready, Sunny, I want to start the car, please. Move off at the end of the road. I want you to go left, please. Okay. When you're ready, okay? Stop somewhere safe here, please. Just there. When you're ready, move up, please. On your driving test, the examiner will ask you to pull up somewhere safe on the left few times and move off to check if you pull up on the left safely and if you move off safely. At the end of the road, right, please. And then left, please. At the end of the road, end, right please, at the end, right.
now here he's approaching at the end of the road and he slows the car to deal with the junction but then he forgot to go down to first gear according to the speed so he goes to the middle of the road on the wrong gear and he nearly stalls the car lucky there was no one coming so he didn't block anyone but if there was someone coming he would have failed his test here so make sure to remember to slow down and go down to the gear that you need when you're dealing with the junction. In the roundabout, straight on, please. Straight on. Straight on. Roundabout, straight on. Roundabout, straight on, please. Next road on the left, please. Next road left. Stop on the left after the under the tree, please. Under the tree. At the end of the road, at the end, left.
Now the normal driving lane is left lane always unless the road marking tells you otherwise. In this case, as you can see, left lane is only left. Why? Because this is what the road marking is telling you. Normally, left lane is to go straight, but in this case, left lane is only left, which means in this case, you can't go straight from left lane. Left here, left here. Can't go right. Okay. You can't go straight from that lane. That lane is only left. Roundabout coming up, third exit on the right, please. Third on the right. Now fourth exit on the right on this roundabout, fourth on the right, number four. Now here he took the third exit on the right instead okay. of fourth on the right, the right but straight that on. won't be a fail because straight that on. is not danger to anyone. Okay. This roundabout straight on. The end right please.
next left for the arrow saying left. Traffic light coming up, traffic light will go right on the traffic light.
roundabout, first left. Now here he changed to middle lane thinking left lane was a slip road but then he drives in the middle lane for too long and this would be a fail for lane discipline. You always drive on the left lane. If you do go to the middle lane for some reason you have to or you must change back to the left lane when it's safe to do so. In this case he doesn't and this will be a serious fault. If you are learning and you need help on learning and passing the driving test, don't forget to take the advantage of our online course. The course gives everything a learner needs to learn to drive and to pass the driving test. It has everything a learner needs. I will leave a link on the description for you to have a look. Have a look and see and read and if you like it, you could always join the course. Now in this dual carriageway the road speed is 40 but he's driving above 40 for too long and this would be a serious fault for 
you're so speed does it come right here what's the speed Come off left, please. right on the roundabout. And then after the traffic light left, after the traffic light left. Crossroad straight on. At the end, left. Road left. Yeah. At the end, right. And stop on the left, just behind the white car, please. Behind the white. Oh, actually, just before the red car. Before the left. Yeah. 
in that cup there. Just there. You need to go more, more that way. Yes. It's okay, it's fine. Okay. Use this car please for parallel parking. Okay. Parallel parking. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you know, please. Okay, that's it. What do you think? Fail. Fail? <laughs> Why? Yeah. <clears throat> Fail for what? For parking. This so one. I was used to uh, the use the car, which was a thing like I can see. Where is the pavement? Okay, pavement. so the yeah. reference points you haven't got in this one. Okay, okay. Obviously, you'll fail for this one. Let's talk about this one first. Fail because you went forward, you hit the pavement. Yeah. And then the main problem is when you're looking, when you're reversing, where should you be looking? Back. How? Like this? No, this way. There. Are you looking at the back? No. No. Because which way is the car going? Backward. You should be looking? Back. And you're not looking at the back. So that's the main problem. And the other problem is every time you... So say you finish too far from the pavement. That's fine. But for you to correct, you can't just go get the car ready. You have to look all around, see if it's safe, and then go. And then stop again, see if it's safe, and then go. You yeah. can't just go because you want to go. Yeah. So obviously you will fail for control, fail for observation on this one. Okay? Yeah. So that's done. If I take that one away, you have one, two, three... For five CDS fault. Five, okay? These are maybe some of them you don't know. But I'm going to go through them so that you know. Okay. Because remember, this is to help you. So we're going to go through, make sure you take those into account so that when you go to your test, you don't do them, okay? Yeah. Number one, on the roundabout, I said to you, fourth exit on the right. One of the roundabout, fourth on the right. Yeah. If you want to go right, fourth exit, when do you signal? Before. When did you signal? Just after. Off, after. You went inside the round, then you signal right. 
You should have signal before. Good. And before changing lane, don't forget to look at the blind spot. Don't just change lane. Just the mirror is not good enough. You know, you want to change to the right lane. You looked at the mirrors and you change. What do you do? Mirror, mirror, and then? Uh, blind spot. How? Like. And then change. Okay? So that's fail for not giving that signal. Okay? The other one was is the road markings. Yeah. On the traffic light, yeah. the road lane is telling you to go left, left. the left lane. Yeah. What did you do? I want to pause. So, so say this happened in the test. What do you think you should have done? Fail. You no. Know, why fail? Just do the right thing. So you went to the wrong lane. Yeah. That's a wrong lane. You yeah. can't go straight from that lane. No. What do you do? Put the left signal and yeah. go uh, left. Go. But I think you don't even you don't even know that that was. Did you, did you see the road marking? Uh, no. You didn't see the road yeah. marking. So you don't even know. If you know and you're in the wrong lane and if you think that you can't change lane, that's fine. Put the signal on by looking at the mirror and go left. Okay. okay? Yeah. So so that's a fail for a road markings. The other one is a dual carriageway. Speed. It was 40, wasn't it? Yeah. You're driving 44, 43 all the way until... I said to you, there's a camera. What did you do? Yeah, then you went down. Camera. If the camera wasn't there, you, you just carried on. It was 43, it was 40, 43, 44, 41, not 40 for a while until the camera was coming. And I said, there's a camera. Then what did you do? You went. So that would be fail, okay? Yeah. Lane. I mean, which lane do you drive on the dual carriageway? Right one. Why? Because I thought it's a single way. Doesn't matter. So, it's just, okay, single car. That's a dual carriageway, really. But... Even if it's a single carriageway, if it's more than two lanes, yeah, and all the lanes are going straight, which lane do you drive? Left one. Left one. First of all, why did you change lane? Because you had your own lane, didn't uh, you? Uh, I thought the but lane you need is... to join. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Okay, so you made that mistake. You went to the middle lane, yeah. but then once you know you made that mistake, what do you do? I need to change the lane. You wanted to. A few times I saw your hands going there to signal to go left. Why did you do it? There's a car behind me. Okay, there. put the signal on when it's safe and wait until you find a gap. Come back. You went all the way. All the way you went on middle lane. That would be a fail. Okay. And the other one was um, stop. Okay. Uh, stop normal position. Once it was too far, another one, you hit the pavement and it stopped. Okay. okay. It was too far. I gave you a minor for that. But then you hit you hit the pavement and then you stopped. Okay. So that would be, I will give you, you might get let you go in the test. You might not fail you for that, but I put it down here so that yeah, you know, because yeah. you could fail for that. Yeah. Okay. There are many things here. Not many actually, maybe that one, he might let you go for hitting the pavement. I'm going to put it down here so that you know for the test, yeah. because if I put it down in the mock test, hopefully you're not going to do it in the, in the main test. Yeah. Okay. And you got a few minors, uh, normal driving. You are driving where? Too much. On the other side you didn't fail for that try to be on your side of the road okay, okay? Yeah. try not to um, um drive too much on the other side so that's a few minor there and um signaling um there was when when was that um, yes i asked on the traffic light i used to go right on the dual carriageway you went right on the traffic light and it was a dual carriageway you went right you signal right Okay, yeah. try to get a picture in your mind. So the traffic light, you want you to go right. You signal too early, there was a road, you took yeah. the signal off. That's fine. I'm not going to fail you for that. One minor for that, that's fine. You took the signal off. After the road, you signal right on the traffic light. You signal right, you went right into the left lane, no problem. So when you go, when you signal right to go right, once you go to the lane, what do you do? I need to go signal left. Why? Is it roundabout? Oh, no. Oh, so why yeah. you signal left again? Oh, I thought it's no because you're signaling right to go yeah. right. Once you go right, why you signal left again? I don't need to signal. No, because is there a roundabout? No. If it's a roundabout, you signal to come off. Yeah. You're not coming off. Yeah. Your right. I, yeah. No, I got you. Okay. So yeah. make sure remember that don't if you on a on a normal road to go left and right, you just signal left, and once you go in there, you take it off. Yeah. When you go right, you signal right, not right and left again. Okay. That's what you did, didn't you? Okay. Yeah. Now here, just to show you so that you know, he's signaling right here to go right. Watch him signals left as he enters. Now let's talk about the beginning. In the beginning, there are few th just two things I want to highlight so that you know. 
We started off two minutes down the line. At the end of the road, I asked you to go right. The car was on second gear. You stole the car in the middle of the road. Yeah. I didn't fail you for that because there was no one coming. There was no danger to anyone. What gear should it be? One. Gear one. And you was in second gear. Yeah. Okay. Make you realize that. Okay. Yeah. Lucky there was nobody coming. If there was somebody coming, you would be failed for that. Yeah. After that, on a mini roundabout, I said to go straight on. I don't know why you signal in the beginning. I don't know why you did that, but you took it off. That's fine. But then there was a lady standing in the zebra crossing. Did you see that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There, was the, there was a mini roundabout. Yeah. And then there was a zebra crossing straight after that. There was a lady waiting. She didn't come to the road. You're okay. But be careful in the test. Because if she put her foot on the road and you don't stop, because it's a crossing, isn't it? Yeah. You will fail a test for that. Yeah. She was standing. Okay, that's when you carried on, but be careful what she doing. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So that's the test. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, helpful. it's not, I mean, the way you drive, I mean, these are... I just need to make sure, yeah, something. Be I careful. need to uh, learn, I need to read the road marking. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you speed the speed. Make yeah. it drive. If it's 40, do 40. And especially when you go to the end of the road, try not to go on second gear every time. If it's a close junction, yeah. under 10 first gear. Okay. Under 10 first gear. One other tip which I noticed, every time you stop somewhere, behind the traffic, on the traffic light, maybe you are fourth car on the queue. For some reason, you, you just put your foot on the brake. You don't put the brake. You're just waiting like that. Okay. Yeah. Now... I I know. Uh, neutral, yeah, neutral. Rest, and then rest your feet. Yeah. So when you stop on the traffic light, yeah. make sure that if you are fourth car, fifth car, just stop, handbrake on, neutral and wait. Because yeah. you've got some time until it's going to get ready. You're just waiting. Clutch down. It's in first gear and your foot is on the brake. You're wasting petrol. You're ruining your clutch, your brake. And also, you're not having a brake. You're just constantly driving which is not good for your health either, yeah. okay? So if you stop somewhere on the traffic light and you say it's in a long queue, go to neutral and wait and then get ready when it's changing. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've learned something from this and we wish our Sonny all the best for his test, okay? If you need any help before your test, give us a call and then maybe if you need any help, I'll, I'll try to help you, yeah. okay? Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give a thumbs up and please do make a comment what you think of the video. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so don't miss any of my future videos and hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.